Millionaire Richard Deloy, collector of dead species of spiders, never realized that in marrying awesomely beautiful Lenora Black, he had completed his spider collection in more ways than one. For the spell which Lenore exerted over men was stronger than the mere allure of a charming woman. It was the deadly fascination of a human spider bent on destroying human flies. At the wedding reception following the marriage of Lenora Black to Richard Deloy. Congratulations, Lenore. I was a fool to have thought my love for you could compete against Deloy's millions. You're bitter, Dan, because I gave you no warning when I broke our engagement. But someday, you'll understand. Good grief, Lenore. What do you see in Deloy? Certainly his collection of dead spiders couldn't attract you. Don't give up, Hope. Strange things happen. I might become a widow sooner than anyone expects. <laughs> Darling, you're talking to another man. Aren't you afraid I might be jealous? Naturally, Richard. I'm frightened to death. <laughs> Later that night, in Lenore Deloy's dressing room. Everyone's gone, my dear. Let me show you around Deloy Manor. Yes, Richard, I want to see everything, especially your priceless collection of dead spiders. Minutes later, in the Deloy trophy room, you'll find every type of spider here, venomous and non-venomous. Richard, I'm thirsty. Bring me a drink, please. Of course, darling. Minutes later. You know, dear, I fell in love with you because something about you reminded me of a spider. The black costumes you wear. The... Lenore? Where are you? What the deuce is that sound? Sounds like spinning? What? <gasps> Lenore, help me. These webs, they're strangling me. I, I can't breathe. <gasps> a gigantic black widow spider? <gasps> Stay away. Help! Help! It's... it's going to bite me. <gasps> the spider. It's changing. <gasps> the whole body is changing. Yes, Richard. Your instinct was correct. There is something spiderish about me. I hate all those who make collections of spiders. My silk-spinning brethren are too small, too weak to fight back. But I can. Lenore, this can't be. <gasps> I'm going mad! A human spider? <gasps> yes, Richard. This is your bride, who is letting the breeze blow her silken webs to the winds. <laughs> now I have the wealth to pursue my life's mission. I'll kill all those who destroy my kind. Three hours later. You're sure you saw nothing? Heard nothing, Miss Deloy? The coroner never saw a case like this. It's as if a mammoth Black Widow spider got him. Then there's these wisps of silk web. It doesn't make any sense. That's for you police to decide. Now you must excuse me. I'm quite worn out. A murder on my honeymoon night. A few days later, at a fashionable outdoors restaurant. I can't understand your being so indifferent to Deloy's death. Didn't you love him? I told you. I love only you, you soft-hearted fool. George, look, under the table. Kill it, kill it. A spider? I'll crush it. No, Dan, stop him. He killed it. He squashed it under his foot. The murderer. Lenore, it's only a spider. Only a spider? Do you realize what you're saying? <sighs> Let's get out of here. Let's visit this friend you're always talking about, Ben Green. Shortly after, in an aviary. Hello, Ben. Meet Lenore Deloy, the girl I'm going to marry. Wait, what's he feeding to those birds? Spiders. This species loves spiders. Why? Dan, if I stay another second, I'll faint. Take me home, please. What's the matter, Dan? I don't know, Ben, but I'm going to find out. Listen, Lenore, what's wrong? Call it spider fixation. I feel sorry for spiders that are the prey of birds and toads, lizards, wasps, and humans. I used to love to watch a spider spin its web. Then my father died. My new stepfather was cruel to me. He used to beat us. I used to dream of killing him. 
Then one day, the beast got his just desserts. A black widow spider. I was so happy. It was as if my friends had heard my prayers. I spent hours at the spinning wheel. Let me take you home, Lenore. Your husband's death has unnerved you. Later that night at Ben Green's aviary. She wouldn't let me call a doctor or a psychiatrist, and yet I know that girl is mentally ill. It's probably nothing but the after effects of her husband's death. Now beat it and let me hatch this hummingbird egg. There's always been something abnormal about Lenore. Something repulsive and yet fascinating. Five minutes later. Ben, it's me, Lenore. I want to talk to you about Dan. Just a second. I was so absorbed in this hummingbird egg. It's hatching, you know. Gaze into my eyes, spider killer. Oh, my head's whirling. You are helpless. You will die. Great heavens! You, you've turned into a spider before my eyes. You're spinning webs all around me. Move all you like, Ben. It won't help you. No, no, don't kill me. Ah! Later that night. It's just like that Deloitte case. Gigantic black widow bite. Scraps of spider web. I smell the scent of Lenore's perfume. Couldn't be so strong unless she was here a short while ago. Moments later in Lenore's boudoir. No, Dan, I haven't seen Ben since this afternoon. Okay, Lenore, come down to my laboratory in the morning. I want to talk to you. The following morning. Dan, this laboratory is full of lizards and toads. I thought you were a doctor. No, Lenore, I'm a zoologist. My job is experimentation for the good of mankind. I want to talk to you about Ben. He died very strangely. Yes, the swine never lived to see his hummingbird egg hatch. How do you know about his hummingbird egg? You were there. Yes, I was there when Ben died. And now I'm going to show you how he died. <gasps> Your face. It's changing. Your body. Lenore. You're turning into a spider. I can't help myself. I must kill all those who destroy my species. I... I can't breathe. <coughs> I can't break out of the web. Collectors of spiders. Hunters of spiders. Devils like you who constantly feed spiders to birds and lizards. I'll destroy you all. She's not human. She's the incarnation of a murderous horror beyond all understanding. It's her life against dozens of men. These wasps are a natural enemy of spiders. I've got to release them. With a hum like a giant dynamo, a cascade of wasps attacked the furry monster. Before it could resume human shape, the wasps struck. An unearthly shriek broke from the lips of the black beast. Her horrifying spell is broken. The webs are falling apart. I can breathe now. Moments later, as the repulsive creature reassumed her human shape. Now the world can see nothing but a beautiful woman stung to death by wasps. I'll keep her awful secret. Poor Lenore. <laughs> <laughs>